Hi, thank you for tuning in to Vibrant Deals. All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make salmon. It's a really quick, easy meal to make. Very healthy and tasty. This is actually a salmon that I bought from the grocery store and it's never been frozen. That's the best type that I find, but you can find some wild or farm-raised salmon that's frozen, but I've cooked a lot of salmon and the best salmon you can get is the ones that are not frozen. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious dish. All right, so the very first step in cooking teriyaki salmon, and I know there's a lot of different ways to cook it, but this is just the way I do it. I cook the sauce um, separately on the side and then I basically baste it over the uh, salmon after I'm done. But you should have a consistency that looks like this, and this is due to the cornstarch that you add towards the end with cold water. And it should be not really, really runny, but it should have a saucy consistency to it. But I'll tell you exactly what I use in this. Um, you can modify it if you like, or you can add your own ingredients, but this is just what I found to be very uh, tasty in making my salmon, so. Um, I use one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one garlic clove of minced um, garlic. You use the whole thing or you can chop it up. I use a fourth cup of teriyaki sauce, four tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of water, half a tablespoon of honey, half a tablespoon of brown sugar, half a tablespoon of minced ginger, one tablespoon of cornstarch, a half a tablespoon of sriracha, a pinch of thyme, a little pinch of sea salt, a little pinch of black peppercorn powder, and then I add a half of an onion sliced up as you can see here. So I just let that simmer down. Alright, the sauce is done and I've already brushed on all the nice marinade on there. And make sure you even it out, put it all over the salmon so you can get all the good flavor throughout. And before you do this, you're gonna pre preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so I have it all ready to go in the oven now. Again, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and set the timer to about 15 minutes. And then I created this little aluminum um, container here, which consists of three pieces of foil, or you could use two heavy duty um, type of foil and make your own little box or a little rectangle with it. And then you just wanna use one sheet of foil to loosely cover up the fish. All right, so I have the time set to 15 minutes, baking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and have it in the middle shelf of the oven. All right, it's been exactly 15 minutes and the salmon is all done, as you can see here. I hope you all enjoyed my video on how to bake salmon. If you have any questions, definitely comment below, and I would love to hear some feedback on different ways that you all cook salmon because I'm always into new ways of baking this fish different types of ways and it's always good to hear feedback from other people but I hope you all like this video thank you all for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe and as always thank you all for watching